Duxbury boys basketball team. And as you're watching this tape uh, today, they may well be in the state tournament. And for first of all, by way of introduction, my name is Bill Wilhelm from WATD. And with us we have today... Mickey Curley. <laughs> Mickey's shy. Mickey is uh, 6968. Six nine. Six nine, yeah. and he is a junior, I believe. Yeah. <laughs> and we also have with us the head coach. Hello. <laughs> uh, Mr. Clark. Okay. Reg is six five. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> on, on his toes. He'll, he'll be the spokesman in just a moment. And also an outstanding soccer player right now, averaging just under two a game. John Show. <laughs> five eight. Junior. And junior, very good. Okay. Another one of the big guys, one of the unheralded big guys, I might add. Six five, they say, Dan. Oh, yeah, I'm Dan Kwok, 6'5", junior. Okay, and also we have? Uh, Aaron Smith, 6 feet, junior. Greg Asenzo, 6 feet, junior. Outstanding guard, I might add. Andy Leonard, 5'10", senior. Jeff Zyman, 6'2", junior. John Longley, 6'2", senior. Outstanding football player as well. Matt Coley, 6'5", senior. But without a hitch, he said that, okay. Brian Dowd, 6'2", senior. Okay. As I mentioned earlier, this team, as we're talking to you, they've only lost one game all year, a very tight ball game to Durfee, a team that they had beaten in one of the most exciting basketball games ever uh, seen or heard here on the South Shore in the uh, opening game of 1993, 92-93, if you will, uh, and a game that they won here as uh, they defeated uh, Durfee before a sellout crowd in the first game of the year. Uh, let's talk to Reggie Clark, if we can. Reggie, front and center, if you would, for a moment. And, uh, Reg, what makes this team special? Obviously, Mickey and Matty are, are people that the rest of the teams are going to key on, but you've got some other talented players here as well. Yeah, we, we got a lot of hard-working people, and um, I, I think they understand, we understand games pretty well. We're a little inexperienced, but uh, we have a lot of people who understand how to play games. Um, and we have a pretty good desire, man for man, to uh, try to win what we can. Okay. In your division this year, it's going to be very interesting come tournament time. Sharon is currently undefeated as we, as we tape today. Jeremiah Burke with Bunny Jefferson averaging about 35 a game. They're going to be there. Sitchwitz undefeated. There's a lot of competition this year. Yeah, we, we hope second half of the season. I hope uh, when we finish our mid-year exams that we can jack up the intensity level in practice and, and try to prepare for some of those teams who are obviously... Um, think that they can win as much as anybody else, just like we think we can win as much as anybody else. Are you working the guys hard this year? Not yet. Okay. Uh -huh. we, we, work, we work fairly hard, but uh, next, next week we'll kind of try to jack up some of our uh, detail and skill drills, see what we can get for energy level um, intensity. And so far it looks to me, and today I was just seeing you scrimmaging back, where everybody seems to be having a good time, having a lot of fun. Uh, Except that they uh, complain about me being a referee. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have referees out there in the real games, too. They might as well get used to it, I guess, right? Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty good referee compared to some of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, Reg, just, I kidding, just kidding, <laughs> Peter. <laughs> so, Reg, I'm going to wish you good luck now for the rest of the tournament. We'll get a couple of the players over if I can. Thanks. Brian Dowd, we'll let you be Hi, first. Hi, Mom. See you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Dowd is with us right now. Brian was, uh, uh, by the way, the cross-country runner of the year, according to the Boston Globe. He had an outstanding cross-country season. And last night, in the Rockland game, he was our player of the game. Brian, uh, how has your year gone so far, and what do you see your role being the rest of the way through? Um, it's gone as, as well how I hoped it would. Uh, just uh, trying to play my, just play my hardest on defense and get the ball to the big guys as much as I can. Um, having, I had a little trouble with that to be the. Hopefully, I've, I've improved at uh, getting them the ball more. Um, and my passing, hopefully, my passing will get better as the season goes on. Okay. Next year, your goal. Um, I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> We've been in college somewhere. Oh, yeah, college, yeah. Okay, very good. Okay, thanks, Brian. Let's get Maddie over here. This is Maddie Curley. He's been our player of the week uh, several occasions so far this year. Uh, as a senior this year, he's uh, going to attract a lot of attention. He's an outstanding player, not only underneath the basket with his height, but he's also an outstanding player out in the open court as well. Matt, uh, who's been the toughest competition? Obviously, Durfee, but who else in the league? Rockland's been tough the last game the other night. Okay. Tough on defense. Okay. You're going to see, uh, as we're broadcasting this now, a lot of teams out in the South Shore are going to be watching you up in Situate and other area teams that may see you in the tournament. you have any messages for them? No. No, okay. You'll be ready when the time comes. Yes. Right? Okay, Matt, very good. Let's get Mickey on here. We're running out of time. Mick, step up here. Mick's been anxious to do this all day long, I can tell. Okay. Mick, as everyone gets ready to play Duxbury, they know the one thing they're going to have to concentrate on is uh, Mickey Curley. What, what goes through your mind the day of a game? Just to play hard, work the hardest you can, because you know there's like there's five guys in the court, and our teammates can back you up all the time. Okay. Everyone asks me this question: Contrast Mickey Curley with Billy Curley. I'll let Mickey do it. 
He's blonde haired, left hand, you have dark hair, and you're right handed, right? Yeah, I guess. This is about it. Hey, can you beat him one on one every once in a while in the driveway? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, mix a man a few words. Mickey, thank you very much. Guys, any messages for the teams around the South Shore? We'll get better. We're getting better, they say. Okay, this is Bill Wilhelm from Duxbury High School. Thank you for joining us on Spotlight on Sports. Bye-bye.